Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be shedding light on why most people do not care whether or not they become overweight or obese. So why do most people not care whether or not they become overweight or obese? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much to my dismay, much to my consternation, much to my chagrin, much of my agony, much of my distress, and much of my grief, most people do not give an iota about their house. They do not care a modicum about their house. It is asinine because their house is sacrosanct, precious, indispensable, and invaluable. Their house is their wealth. Lamentably, they do not view it that way. They have a jaded, distorted view about their house. They blithely overlook the eminent importance of attaining robust, stellar, vigorous, optimal, impeccable house. They do not care if their vessel becomes inflamed. Their vessel is not expendable. It is not disposable. It is irreplaceable, to say the least. You cannot replace your 78 organs, and you do not want them to atrophy nor become dysfunctional. But most people would rather prioritize assuaging their taste buds, even if it comes at the cost of decimating their house, as well as amplifying their mortality rate. It is preposterous, absurd, ludicrous, gormless, imprudent, and nonsensical that people would rather assuage their taste buds by consuming insalubrious, lethal, non-alkaline, inflammatory, acidic, calorie-dense, obesity-inducing foods rather than optimize their health by consuming fruits and vegetables that are subsumed under a wholesome, salubrious, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, kidney-healthy, brain-healthy, heart-healthy, anti-glycation, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant-rich, alkaline, nutrient-dense, raw, fruitarian diet. It just does not make any sense that people are steadfast about consuming deleterious, inflammatory, acidic, non-alkaline, obesity-inducing foods that renders them all the more poised, all the more primed, and all the more apt to contract a perilous chronic disease that can bereft them of their life. By consuming these unhealthy, deleterious, non-alkaline, acidic, inflammatory, obesity inducing foods, they're also all the more susceptible, all the more vulnerable, and all the more prone to succumb into a myriad of calamitous, direful health issues that will exacerbate their health and cause them to succumb to inflammation, ailing, and undesirable health outcomes. People will not forgo consuming animal carcasses. People will not forgo consuming animal secretions. People will not forgo consuming candies. People will not forgo consuming synthetic bastardized man-made processed foods. It just does not make a modicum of sense that people do not give an iota about their house. So they would rather assuage their taste buds with additives, with sugars, than 
implement prudent, wise, salubrious dietary decisions. The irony is that fruits and vegetables do not need any synthetic artificial additives to be scrumptious, succulent, flavorful, and palatable. Fruits and vegetables are appetizing. They can even be zesty, piquant. and truly sensational. To ingest. So, most people do not care they become obese or overweight because they're adamant about assuaging their taste buds at all costs, even if it comes at the cost of their life. It does not make a modicum of sense. If you contract a lethal chronic disease, you're all the more apt to be bereft of your life prematurely. But they're more keen on assuaging their taste buds with the synthetic artificial additives and sugars from insalubrious, lethal, calorie-dense, non-alkaline, acidic, inflammatory, obesity-inducing foods. Instead of consuming healthy foods, that are subsumed under a wholesome, salubrious, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, kidney healthy, brain healthy, heart healthy, anti-glycation, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant rich, alkaline, nutrient dense, raw fruitarian diet. People have an aversion to consuming fruits and vegetables. People love consuming animal carcasses, animal secretions, and synthetic bastardized artificial man-made processed foods. It just does not make a modicum of sense, but people are presumably addicted to synthetic artificial additives and sugars that so many noxious foods are laced with. You want to consume foods that are devoid of carcinogens, neurotoxins, pathogens, endocrine disruptors, as well as other noxious ingredients. You do not want to consume foods that are tainted with added sugars, nor even synthetic artificial additives. So, most people are not keen on maximizing their longevity rate. Most people are not adamant about maximizing their well-being. Most people are not keen on optimizing their overall health. So, it is unfortunate, but it is what it is. People are pioneers of their own destinies, and they choose whether or not to become A healthy weight or an unhealthy weight. They should be keen on maximizing their longevity rate. They should be keen on 
optimizing their overall health. They should be keen on maximizing their well-being. They should not shirk on doing so. I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.